Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on Hydra AI Character 3. We're currently on Hydra.com and you can see the interface and at this area here you can see Hydra Character 3 and we'll be working on the prompts to make our creation. Now here on Hydra, you can see video, image, and library. Library is where you can find what you've been able to create or generate with Hydra. So you have video and image. We'll be using video, and then you'll need to take note that you have a 400 credits to play with. So here, if we click on Hydra Character 3, you can see the other versions, but of course we're using Hydra Character 3. And then here you get to set the aspect ratio, the output resolution, and the duration. Now it's currently on auto and we don't have any other options so we'll be leaving it as that. And here you get to prompt a character with emotions and gestures. Of course this is optional. And then you get to add an audio script and a start frame. Now we're going to click on inspire me and this basically gives a very basic prompt. Person smiles. If you click on inspire me again, you can see person jumps up and down with concern. That looks interesting, so we can leave that. And then before we're able to create, we can come over to audio script, click on it. And you have three options, upload audio, record audio, or generate speech. So we're going to be clicking on generate speech. Then here you get to choose the voice, create the voice. And of course the language is currently on auto. We have options for voices right here. We'll be leaving Daniel, who is British. And then of course, if you want to create a voice to clone your voice, for example, you can use this option. But right here, we'll be typing in what would like the character to say. So let's go and write something to work with. Your character limit is 200 characters. So we'll take note of that. So of course, we just have a statement. I'm jumping, but I'm slightly confused. That looks interesting. So let's see how that matches up with our prompt. We're going to click on generate audio. And here it says generation will use about one credit. So click on it. So the audio is ready. So we're going to click on preview. I'm jumping, but I'm slightly confused. Great. So now we can either download the audio or simply add it to the video. So now we have the audio that has been generated and the person jumps up and down with concern, right? And so we're going to need to add a start frame. Click on it. And then here you also have the option to upload image, capture image, or create one using the AI. We're going to click on create image. And so we use the inspire me option right here and it says enthusiastic teenage salesman in a post apocalyptic wasteland. Great, so we can go ahead with that option, but it will take about four credits. Not to worry, cause we have just enough. So we have this creation and it looks pretty nice. So we're going to click on add to video. So now we have our text, our audio and a frame to start with. Go ahead and click on generate and it says generation will use 18 credits. Let's go. So now we'll need to wait for it to happen. We're currently on queue and this might take a few moments or a few minutes, two hours. So we'll be waiting for that to happen and we'll show you the result. Great, so now we have our video. We're going to click on play and view it in the large screen to see the result. I'm jumping, but I'm slightly confused. That looks great actually. Of course, we had the prompt saying that the person should jump up and down with concern. That didn't happen, but the audio text matched to perfection. The visuals could be better, but this is what we have from Hydra AI, and this is what you can also use. Of course, we could do better with our prompting and audio scripting to make sure it matches perfectly. You can go ahead and click on the download button right here to have it for yourself. And this is how you can use the Hydra AI Character 3.